Good morning, Lincoln Lions. Today is Thursday, November 16th. Happy Thursday. It's also Thankful Thursday. So don't forget today to tell someone that you're thankful for them. Um, write them a note, send them a message, any of that. It's super important. We are telling people who we're thankful for, that we're thankful for them, and why. I, today, on this Thankful Thursday, am super thankful for Mrs. Hawkins, Miss Cooper, uh, Miss Brabham, and Mrs. Blair, who yesterday opened up their classrooms. Boy, students in those classrooms, I was so impressed with your class meetings. There were such kind and caring compliments given. I saw students using bugs and wishes. I heard kids um, talking about problem solving. And I just want to say I'm so thankful to those teachers and students for the opportunity to get in there and be able to see that amazing work in action. So thank you. All right, we have our fresh fruit and vegetable for today. It is the seckle pear. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, it is the smallest of all commercially grown pears. They are exceptionally sweet. So sweet, in fact, that the bite-sized morsels are sometimes called sugar pears. Ooh, we'll have to see what we think about that. Um, let's see. What else do we know? They are in season for, um, from September through February. They get harvested in the fall. So perfect time for the seckle pear. Um, let's see. They're great for snacks. They are, um, let's see, great for also a garnishing. Garnishing is like a word for decorating a plate. Um, they are, let's see, seckles are believed to, by many, to be the only truly American variety of pear grown commercially. Um, unlike other varieties planted in the U.S. from European places, um, these pears are thought to have origins as wild seedlings near Philadelphia, um, first discovered in the early 1800s. So, lots of fun information. Um, they're a great source of fiber, vitamin C, and they are only 100 calories. Lots of good stuff. So, give it a try. It's a little chilly this morning. Mm. Mm, th <coughs> Those are good. I see why they're called sugar pears sometimes. Nice and sweet. Can't wait to hear what you think about the Seckle Pears today. All right. Um, again, a big thank you to the students who presented at the school board meeting this week. Um, for those students, we will get to have a special pizza lunch tomorrow for you guys um, to come and join me. So I'll talk to you more about that. But just a heads up, you won't need to bring your lunch tomorrow. All right, let's see, we got some kind kids. I'm also super thankful to the high school students who were here yesterday passing out these awesome stickers. I loved them. All right, Wyatt chose to be kind because there was trash on the carpet and he picked it up even though it wasn't his. Respectfully submitted by Ambriella in Miss Cooper's class. Wyatt, Thank you for noticing that there was trash and for picking it up, even though it wasn't yours. Boy, that is being so respectful and responsible. I love when I see people helping and picking up things, even if it's not theirs. Um, Let's see, one more. Hunter chose to be kind because he spent his entire recess looking for my putty. Respectfully submitted by Kaya in Miss LaMonico's class. So thank you to Hunter and thank you to Kaya for, for noticing. Let's go ahead and stand for the flag salute. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, 
with liberty and justice for all. All right, I hope you all have a wonderful day of learning and make good choices. I am so glad you're here.